Greetings, everyone. So here we are again on our last episode Aww. of. Yeah, I know it's gone really quick. Hey? Twenty-one days. Twenty-one of days of lockdown. I hope it was productive uh, for you guys. But here we are in our last episode uh, of the lockdown devotion yep. <laughs> with Central Baptist. It should come natural by now. But Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and we are your associates. I'm Isaac Pinto. And I'm Jablani Mayberg. Uh, so today is our last reading from Second Peter chapter 3 and reading from verse 14 to 18. So for the last time, gather everyone around you and let's take out the Bible and let's read together in Second Peter chapter 3 and we'll start our reading from verse 14. It says, Therefore, beloved, since you are waiting for these, be diligent to be found by him without spot or blemish and at peace. And count the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you according to the wisdom given him, as he does in all his letters when he speaks in them on these matters, that uh, there are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. You therefore, beloved, knowing this beforehand, take care that you are not carried away with the error of lawless people and, and lose your own stability, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our mm -hmm. Lord and salvation and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Amen. This is, is a great um, passage wrapping up the book. Now, we wouldn't be doing good exegesis or good commentating if we do not start with context. We cannot just start with a, a therefore. So what is it referring to, Jabu? I mean, he hits us with a therefore and then he says waiting for these. And we're like, mm. what is he talking mm. about? Mm. Now, let's, let's go together to verse 13. He says, but according to his promise, we are waiting for the new heavens mm. and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Mm -hmm. so, so he's saying that whilst we are living in this world that is filled with blemish, while we are living in this world where there is no peace, be diligent to be found by him without spot or blemish and at peace waiting mm. for this new heaven and new earth where all sin will be wiped away, wow. all sorrow and all pain will be completely demolished. And I think that that waiting is, is, is part of, of, of our growing in, in faith and salvation in verse 15. And count the patience of our Lord as salvation, mm. just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you mm. according to the wisdom given him. So, so we, we need to wait patiently in anticipation yeah. looking forward to to receiving this complete um, uh, righteousness um, and, and the full where work in us is, is completely done there's no more tears there's no more struggling with sin yeah. no more shame oh, and no more confession oh, we oh. everything is yeah. is complete and we look forward yeah. to 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 that yeah. And I mean, I mean, it's it's really important that we we as as we've been reading in Peter, you you notice that that he he, he once says uh, that that do not count the the, the, the long suffering of the Lord as slackness, mm -hmm. but but the Lord desires that 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 all be saved. That God is working in salvation. Mm -hmm. He's 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 working to save many. Mm -hmm. That on this day many will be able to rest at peace with our Lord. Uh, we've been made completely new, mm. the sinful nature completely torn away, mm. and now we're just enjoying salvation mm. with our God. Absolutely. Now we, we move on to, to something uh, really important, I think, for us as believers. And, and I think this is a part where, where believers don't often know how to respond uh, when we, we come across uh, atheistic scholars or, mm. or uh, apologists Yep. Uh, where where we we don't know how the, the Bible came about and how can we say that that these letters are the Word of God now there is some internal evidence of this here in, in verse 16 uh, in speaking about Paul as he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters there are some things in them that are hard to understand which the ignorant 
uh, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. Now, it's very important here because he's equating the letters of the Apostle Paul to the other scriptures, to the Old Testament, which is, is saying, yes, these letters are divinely inspired, are God-breathed. So we can have the confidence that this is indeed the Word of God. True. And, and I think it's also important that we notice, I mean, again, as we've been going through Peter, there were some passages that were, that were difficult for us to understand and interpret. But, but we need to be careful that we plead with the Spirit, that, that He helps us to understand these truths, that we continue to compare Scripture mm -hmm. with Scripture. What, mm -hmm. is, what is Scripture saying of these things? And not be like the ignorant yeah. who, 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 who then twist the Scriptures to their own destruction. Mm -hmm. Because He says in verse 7, that we have an advantage mm. that we have been warned that 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 there are those who will twist the scriptures there are those uh, uh, scriptures that are going to be hard to understand mm. but we just need to trust in the spirit's illumination mm. to help us understand these mm. difficult truths and also that's the beauty of fellowship that's the beauty mm. of church mm. that we can get together like this and, yeah. and, and we can help each other Absolutely. understand and interpret the truths uh, trusting that it is God who is leading us to to reveal what He has revealed to us in His Word, and and He He ends there the 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 book with 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 a, uh, a direction for us to yeah. grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We we cannot we can never get to the full point of this. We are yeah. always needing to grow and more and more in knowing Jesus. We cannot never really exhaust the knowledge of yeah. who Christ is in his in his fullness. So we ought to grow more and more in the knowledge and grace of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ and to him be all the glory forever and ever. Yeah. And family, that was that was the point of this exercise. We we really were intending that we would spend these twenty one days together as a family, just just growing in that knowledge of Christ. And and again, the the, the word knowledge that he uses here is the same word knowledge that he uses in chapter one mm -hmm. uh, in in those virtues in verse verse uh, five, where he says we are to supplement that arete that intimate mm. knowledge of Jesus Christ and, mm. and we do hope that that we've mm. had that intimate time together uh, maybe as a family or as an individual or you and your wife or, or even with those who are able to enjoy this time with you and we do pray that uh, we have continued to grow in the knowledge of our Savior mm. and in these trying times his grace was able as well to empower us through so we would like to just uh, end off just with praying uh, for, for you guys as, as a family, uh, for us as a church, that God will carry us even through, through, this, uh, through these difficult times. And so we would like to, to just pray during this time. Why don't you join us in prayer? Oh dear Lord, we thank you because you are the one that sustains us by your grace. You are the one that has uh, revealed yourself to us and we can rejoice in, in the knowledge of Christ. We can uh, drink of the fountain that is found in your word and, and, and get to know you more and more. And even in these uncertain times of, of lockdown and, and, and COVID-19, Lord, we ask you that you will help us to keep our eyes on you. Lord, we, we ask you that we will put in practice what we have been learning over these past 21 days. We ask you that your hand will, will guide us and lead us as, as we try to uh, maybe adjust to, to going back to work or, 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 or still staying at home. And whatever the circumstances are, Lord, we ask your hand to guide us, fill us with the peace of your Holy Spirit. Lord, and we thank you for this time uh, of journeying together through your word as a family of Christ. We praise you for your goodness to us in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.